Hello students, welcome to our class. This time, we're going to talk about tenses, especially present tenses and past tenses. Present tenses consists of simple present tense, present continuous tense, present perfect tense. And past tenses consist of simple past tense, past continuous tense, and past perfect tense. If you are asked, yeah, what is the English sentence of saya makan durian? Is it I eat durian? I am eating durian. I have eaten durian. I ate durian. I was eating durian. Or I had eaten durian. Which one? In fact, all the sentences are correct. It all depends on the context. The use of different tenses makes different meanings of the sentences. Let's check the contexts. I eat durian. We can use this simple present tense sentence. In the context, for example, in my village, we have a lot of durians, so I eat durian every week. Simple present tense. Simple present tense is used to show feelings and opinions. For example, we believe the theory is correct. Believe is showing opinions. Simple present tense is also used to show facts and permanent situations. For example, the teacher has one sister and two brothers. It's a fact that the teacher has one sister and two brothers. And then, it is also used to show routines, things that happen regularly. They work in the same office. So it happens regularly. They come to the same office every day. They work in the same office. Let's continue with the next sentence. Present continuous tense, I am eating durian. I am eating durian right now. Hmm, it is delicious. Do you want to try it too? Present continuous tense is used to show things happening exactly at the time of speaking. For example, I am watching a video of tenses now. The next example, it is used to show things happening around now, not necessarily at the time of speaking. For example, our school is preparing for a big school event. Actually, now everybody is studying, but after the school time, the committee and some teachers and some students are going to continue their work to prepare for the event. The next context uses present perfect tense. I have eaten durian. Let's look at the example. Are you hungry? No, I think I'm full now. I have eaten durian. So present perfect tense and present perfect continuous tense can be used to, to talk about past events when it does not matter when they happened, but the consequences of the events can be found in the present. For example, I have done my homework. I did my homework in the past. But there is an effect now. What is the effect now of doing homework in the past? The effect now, I can continue with another activity. Or I can submit my homework because I have done it. The second use is to talk about a situation or habit that started in the past and still going on. For example, my sister has been doing her homework since this afternoon. Now, she is still working on it in her room. For this kind of situation, we use perfect continuous tense or present perfect continuous tense. The next context uses simple past tense. I ate durian. 
So I'm talking about what happened yesterday. I ate durian yesterday. I ate it together with my sister. So I'm talking only about something that happened yesterday. And I'm not talking about the relation of yesterday activity to the present situation. That's why we use simple past tense. Simple past tense is used to talk about an event that happened in the past. For example, we visited Bali last year. So I'm just telling an activity that I did last year. I visited Bali last year. So simple past tense is used to talk about a situation that happened in the past. Yesterday, last year, last week, two minutes ago, just now, etc. Next, past continuous tense. I was eating durian. So let's look at the context. When the phone rang, I was eating durian. I could not answer it because my hand was dirty. Past continuous tense can be used to talk about an activity that continued or was in progress for a period of time in the past. For example, mom was cooking when I entered the kitchen. So, the situation, for example, happened yesterday or last week. So, last week, when I entered the kitchen, something or an activity was going on or was in progress. So, my mom was cooking at that time. Yes. So, we use past continuous tense, mom was cooking when I entered the kitchen. It can also be used for activities that were happening in the same time for a period of time in the past. For example, mom was cooking when dad was reading a newspaper. So the two situations, both were happening in the same time yesterday for a period of time or in the past for a period of time. And then, the last is past perfect tense. I had eaten durian. I had eaten durian before I entered the room. And people look curious about the smell. Past perfect tense is used to talk about an activity that had happened earlier than a situation or an activity in the past. For example, the manager had revised the regulation before he announced it to the employees. So the announcement happened in the past before he announced it to the employees. So announcement happened in the past. But before the announcement, another activity had happened earlier, which is the manager had revised the regulation. Therefore, we use this Two sentences in one sentence, the manager had revised the regulation before he announced it to the employees. Thank you. God bless you all.